Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Ghostbusters. Well, they're certainly here wants me to scan. What are they doing? The readings are as big as those of the library when we crossed over. I think it's safe to assume that the machine they're working on was not built for a benign purpose. It's an orrery, a device typically used for predicting planetary alignment. In this case, it appears to actually be aligning dimensions. I, for one, do not want the dimensions to align. Not this close to Christmas. That would put a damper on the holidays. How do we shut that thing down? The motion of those devices seems to be generating some sort of energy. Hard to tell, though. What if we try locking those things down? I can calculate 54 likely outcomes. We'd survive mm -hmm. three of them. That beats our usual odds. Unfortunately, you're correct. Let's do it. It looks like the movement of those spheres is stabilizing the interior structure. What if they stopped moving? So far, this Gooby Island has been a slime tether amusement park. Why should that change now? Lock those spheres down, man! We gotta stop those balls from moving. I mean, you know what I mean. Is that working? No. So I can't see what I'm supposed to scan. I need to somehow stop these from moving. Oh, there we go. broken so I've got to be able to destroy them somehow right right don't cross the stream there I wonder. Go from the top angle, shall we? No, that's not working. situations where I need to figure things out. Thank you. 
Nope. Might be sick. Maybe I need to interact with those somehow. Come on, you're the geniuses here, I'm just the rookie. No. Nope, that's not doing anything. Ah! There we go. I need to put... S several of these on. Right, okay. Yes, you did. How come people smart enough to use science always try to take over the universe? Huh? Ega, Ray, anyone? Didn't think so. <laughs> Wait, those planets are aligning. I'm not so sure this is the safest course of action. Uh oh. I think we found the source of the black slime, Winston. I wasn't that curious. The whole room's filling up. Get to higher ground. All right, gentlemen, it's official. This was a bad idea. Thanks, Egon. So what now, guys? Um. Gentlemen, any suggestions? Hello? Smells like the Fulton fish market when they've got fish. Wait, I know that dumpster. <laughs> the putrid mass of hatred, bile, and anger. Not exactly Mr. Sunshine, is it? Hello. This is the part where we do what we do. Hello. Yo! Get him in the eyes! His eyes, Rookie! You were gonna make? We've got to cut off his visors. Somebody chop some onions. Giving me the evil eye, huh? Really, but really, gents. Enough with the eye puns. Oh, hello. Obvious weak spot. It's got to be vulnerable Ow. somewhere. Statistically speaking, that's not entirely accurate. Statistically speaking, we better hope it is. Okay, fair enough. What about that inaccessible anterior nodule? That boy thing on his head? That is his head, isn't it? I'm not sure that matters. How can we get to it? Hey, rookie, run around and look delicious, will ya? There it is. Concentrate your fire on that nose. Hit it right there. It doesn't like that at all. He's taking the bait. Why are you shooting everything but the boy thing on his head? Ow. Right where they belong. 
Our boy Evo Shandor didn't factor in that he was messing with the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I don't think we're at the woods yet, gents. We're gonna have to have a long talk. Don't forget that Peter's girlfriend is a Shandor. Very long talk. You guys need to get down to the shore and fast. I don't know how much longer I can hold her. The whole island's sinking. Ray, keep the motor running. We are coming at you fast. Peter, get out of there. How was it? Was it cool? What did it look like? Did you get any samples? Did it have multiple eyes? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Thank God you're here. What's going on, Janine? Where's Alyssa? She's gone. They took her. One minute everything was fine, the next it was chaos. Ghosts flying everywhere. Janine, slow down. Start from the beginning. Okay. Well, I was a little late this morning because one of the heels on my favorite pair of pumps broke, and Lester's was out of my favorite tea. You know how I love my chamomile. Well, and... Okay. Maybe not the beginning. Start where things went haywire around here. Okay. Okay, somebody jumped me from behind, and before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, Now! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So either there was a mass escape from Rikers, or someone shut down our containment grid again. Again? Just like Peck threatened to do. It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick, but I never pegged him as an evil occultist. But where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Cause, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escaped, I'm clocking out. Yeah, they would be awfully mad at us. Exactly. It's generally a bad idea for the guards to hang out in the cell blocks just after a prison break. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question is, where are the <laughs> Tell you what, kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? We could round up some ghosts, save the girl, get back in time for a nap. Okay, the Ghostbusters ride again. Awesome. Well, like Peter said earlier, plenty of overtime. In your own time game, come on. Um. Oh, yeah, you got a headpiece. Oh, hi. Really? Mm-hmm. I told him that if they start evacuating Manhattan that I don't plan on coming in on Monday and he says and he says I've already used all my floating holidays this year right I tell him Dr. Venkman catastrophic exodus of the city doesn't count as a floating holiday no it doesn't I looked it up so he hands me the employee handbook and tells me to look again and that what is and isn't covered is very clearly defined what yeah, it was in there, in his handwriting, in pencil. <laughs> anyway, I can take a half day on Monday if they evacuate the city. All right. Goodbye. A whole half day. Just once. I wouldn't mind running with these other fools away from the trouble. Where's the fun in that? Oh, that's not good. Oh. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Any guesses on where we'll find Peck and Alyssa? Okay, fair enough. I'm paranoid. 
but <laughs> I've had it blacking out, so I keep I checking OBS. We're going to need the super slammer up there. No telling how powerful Peck has grown. That means we gotta take the Ecto One. I'll drive. Maybe the trainee should drive. Nah. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, Winston. Any ideas? <sighs> ah, Junior's pretty spry, even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator. Ow, that was that was ow there. Ah, so that's where that line was meant Make to be your said. Make around to the other side and open this gate for us. Excellent. Keep wow. the slime on. Look at the storm system building above that tower. Remember the last time we saw that kind of atmospheric disturbance? That's right. At Dana Barrett's building, the night she turned into a dog. What is I wonder if Dana's going to make an appearance. She's been mentioned a fair bit. Shut down the Mandela. How can all this still be happening? In the Gozerian Codex, it's written that a blood sacrifice and a tremendous amount of spiritual energy are needed to generate the supreme destructor form. A destructor form? Again? Peck probably couldn't draw sufficient energy from the Mandala before we shut it down. He found an alternate source in our containment unit. The energy of the escaped ghosts from our grid might be enough to produce a cross-dimensional event in itself. Yes, and with Alyssa here, I'm sure her Shandor ancestors aren't far behind. Right, nothing out here. And so I'm guessing it's going to turn out that Peck is just merely possessed and he's not actually part of the cult. Very spoopy. Oh. First artifact, okay. All right, guys, how do I get to you? Not going through there, I imagine. Wait. Okay, not this way either. Where are you? 
Not that way. Nope. I'm back here again. Where the hell am I going? God oh, damn it. Uh, I haven't got time to read all that. But I've just. But I have discovered I can burn down trees. So. Maybe there's a. A secret passage where I've missed. Nope! Whoa, hello. Well, I found a thing. Get the old slime gun back out. Well, I am here, so deal with it. surprisingly casual about the whole thing. Well, I'm sorry, but it took me a while to do the thing I needed to do. In order to do this other thing. Boss, you all right? How's that gate coming? There we go. I did the thing. I are a professional Ghostbuster. I'll go with the intern. Nobody should wander around alone in this place. We'll meet you guys a little further on. Intern implies I'm not getting paid for this. Explore the cemetery with Ray.
They aren't very happy about us being here. No, oh, don't get over it. Right, where are we going then? Ah, this way. Oh, cutscene. Well, the game froze for a second. <laughs> Sneaky. Let's spread out and flank them. No, oh, poor little military procedure here now. The hell are these? Where you go? I'm taken care of. Okay. Okay, which way? We're back here now. I don't run away. I ain't no coward. Right, maybe we can get to the big beam of light now, maybe. Shit. <laughs> 
Ah! Ray, where are you? In there. In the box. We're not catching the other one. Whoa. All right. Yeah, let's just run. That seems like a better idea. I'm going, I'm going. All right, uh, it's all you. Thanks. Right, I'm going to end this episode here because Jesus, that was... That was a tough one. So, I, oddly enough, I find these little skirmishes with the smaller ghosts more challenging than some of the bosses. Very weird. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick for later. This has been Ghostbusters, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.